Bulacan, Tagalog, Liliwigan ng Bulacan, Kapampangan, Liliwigan ng Bulacan, PSGC, 03140000, ISO, PH Bull, is a province in the Philippines, located in the central Luzon region, region 3, in the island of Luzon, 11 kilometers, 6.8 miles, north of Manila, the nation's capital, and part of the Metro Luzon Urban Beltway Super Region. Bulacan was established on August 15, 1578. It has 569 barangays from 21 municipalities and three component cities Malolos the provincial capital, Maycayan, and San Jose del Monte. Bulacan is located immediately north of Metro Manila. Bordering Bulacan are the provinces of Pampanga to the west, Nueva Ecija to the north, Aurora and Quezon to the east, and Metro Manila and Rizal to the south. Bulacan also lies on the northeastern shore of Manila Bay. In the 2015 census, Bulacan had a population of 3,292,071 people, the most populous in central Luzon and the third most populous in the Philippines, after Cebu and Cavite. Bulacan's most populated city is San Jose del Monte, the most populated municipality is Santa Maria while the least populated is Doña Remedios Trinidad. In 1899, the historic Barisayan Church in Malolos was the birthplace of the first constitutional democracy in Asia. History Spanish colonization The conquest of Bulacan traces to the first years of the Spanish in the Philippines. Upon the defeat of the Maccabebe and Haganoi natives led by Bambolito in the Battle of Bancasay on June 3, 1571 that caused Martin de Goiti to move up north first to Lubao in September 1571. Two months later, on November 14, 1571 Martin de Goiti reached Malolos and Calumpit respectively and it was reported to Adentado Miguel López de Legazpi, the first governor-general of the Philippines. Ada Antado established Calumpit and Malolos as an encomienda entrusted to Sargento Juan Moron, Morones in other documents, and Don Marcos de Herrera. These two conquistador was one of the first group of conquerors accompanied by Legaspi who have arrived in the islands in 1565. On April 5, 1572, the encomiendas of Calumpit and Malolos were unified co-administered by Moron and Herrera. Also on that year Alcadia de Calumpit was formed which the areas of Maccabebe, Candaba, Apolite in Pampanga and the settlements of Maitu, Pandukat, Mesalao and Malolos. And on December 28, 1575 Governor, General Francisco Sande ordered to include Haganoy in Calumpit, NHCP Journal February 2015. In 1575, Bulacan was established as a visita of Tondo and it is not part of Calumpit as the boundary between Tondo and Calumpit were marked in Mombog River and placed the statue of Our Lady of Visitation, Patronus of Calumpit, was erected. It was gone and recreated in 1997 upon the re-establishment of the Roman Catholic parish of Our Lady of Presentacion in Malolos. On April 30, 1578 Bulacan Town was officially established by the Augustinians with Fray Diego Vivar as its first prior and the convent was dedicated to San Agustin, when it was changed to Our Lady of Assumption was uncertain. It was reported that the western part of the present-day Bulacan was to be very well populated and rich. No exact date and year when Alcadia de Calumpit was dissolved and the exact foundation year of the province of Bulacan. It was only documented that Malolos, then part of Calumpit in 1572, were first to be appeared as part of Alcadia de Bulacan was in 1582. It may assumed that reorganization of encomiendas has been occurred between 1580 to 1582 at the time of Governor General Gonzalo Ronquillo de Penalosa. Same document also from the 1582 Relacion de las Islas Filipinas by Miguel de Lorca reports that Alcadia de Calumpit have the jurisdiction in the areas of Calumpit, capital Kapilangan, Kabangbangan and Haganoy as its villages. Then Lorca was mentioned that Alcadia de Bulacan have Bulacan, capital, Malolos, Kaluya, Guguinto, Binto and Catinghalan, instead of Maycayan, as it encomiendas which formerly have one alcalde mayor but he said that Alcadia de Bulacan was formed in 1580 at the time of Penalosa. 
In the document of Governor General Luis Perez de Desmarinas in the account of the encomiendas for the King of Spain furnished on June 21, 1591. Desmarinas mentioned that Alcadia of Bulacan was part of La Pampanga with the encomiendas subject to it such as the encomiendas of Malolos 3,600 persons, Binto 2,000 persons, Giginto 2,000 persons, Caluya 2,800 persons, Mecabayan 2, 800 persons, and Bulacan identified as capital and residence of Alcalde Mayor with 4,800 persons, in the same 1591 document it was mentioned that Calumpit y Haganoy belongs to Juan Moron with the 12,800 persons, two Augustinian convents and one alcalde mayor of its own. However, the establishment and development of southern part of the present-day Bulacan was not simultaneous and identified with the West. It was because this part of the province was established by other group of missionaries, the Franciscan Order who came in the islands only in 1577 at Manila. In 1578 Order of Friars Minor headed by Juan de Placencia and Diego Oropesa arrived in the area called Toral, now part of Mekayan, and their headquarters. Also in 1578 Placencia established the town of Mekayan. Its pueblos was first only settlements of the old Mekayan, founded by Franciscan secondary sources mentioned that Mekayan exist as a province in 1578. It was said the Augustinians Christianized Bulacan, the town after which the province was named, where in fact Bulacan, the town, was already a visita of Tondo in 1575 and Calumpit where Malolos and Haganoy belongs in 1572. The province of Bulacan is on the island of Luzon, and is one of the most important Alcadia de Termino, civil and politically it corresponds to the Audiencia y Capitania General de Filipinas, and spiritually belongs to the Archbishop of Manila. The Franciscan friars Juan Placencia and Fray Diego de Oropesa founded Mekayan in 1578, and for a time it was the capital of the province of Mekayan. Differ from the western Bulacan administered by Augustinian order since 1572, Mekayan people were able to flourish, and became so rich that the sons are six of the best in the then province of Mekayan. It was the towns of Bacaui, Polo, San Jose del Monte, Santa Maria de Pondi, Obando and Marilao. During the general visitation of October 5, 1762 by Sr. Dr. Don Simón de Anda y Salazar, the province was headed by Capitán Don José Pasarán, alcalde mayor of the province, 1795-96, Don Manuel Piñón was the alcalde mayor. According to the Guía de 1839, Bulacan Province in the island of Luzon, Philippines, is governed by a mayor, consists of 19 pueblos, 36,394 tributes and 181,970 souls. D. Felipe Gobantes, alcalde of the province of Bulacan erected a stone column in the plaza of Bulacan in memory of Fr. Manuel Blanco OSA who died on April 1, 1845, in 1848, when the boundaries of Pampanga were changed, the region, which includes the important town of San Miguel de Mayumo and neighboring places that were formerly part of Pampanga, was adjudicated to Bulacan. In an earlier period during 1890, Malolos was a hot spot of liberal illustrados, notably the 20 women of Malolos who exerted pressure for education under a Filipino professor. However, the first phase of the revolution ceased in 1897 with the signing of the Pact of Biak Nabato in San Miguel. Under its terms the leaders were to go to Hong Kong and reside there. Under the illusory peace created by the pact, the end of 1897 saw greater determination on the part of the Filipinos to carry on the revolution. In early 1898, the provinces of Zambales, Ilocos, Pampanga, Bulacan, Laguna, Pangasinan, Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, and Camarines rose again. In central Luzon, a revolutionary government was organized under General Francisco Macabulos, a Capampangan revolutionary leader of La Paz, Tarlac. The Americans established a local Philippine government in the Philippines when they held the first municipal election in the country in the town of Baliwag on May 6, 1899. At the beginning of the American rule, 1899-1900, Malolos became the headquarters of the military governor of the Philippines at Casa Real. 
On February 27, 1901, the Philippine Commission officially transferred the seat of government to Malolos, and the Casa Real de Malolos was the seat of the provincial governor from 1900 to 1930 until the completion of the capital building at Brigi. Guinhawa, Malolos City, in 1942, at the height of World War II, the Japanese Imperial Army occupied Bulacan and made Casa Real de Malolos its headquarters. In 1945, combined Filipino and American forces and local guerrillas attacked the Japanese Imperial forces and liberated Bulacan. Through Presidential Decree 824, Bulacan was partitioned on November 7, 1975 to form the National Capital Region. The municipality of Valenzuela was excised to form the new region, while the other 25 towns remained in Bulacan. Issues concerning the foundation date For a long period of time, Bulacan traced its founding as a province during the American period at the reorganization of Philippine provinces. To determine the tentative date of the province's foundation and to trace its roots from colonial period. Efforts and research conducted by Dr. Jamie Veneracion, Dr. Reynaldo Naguit of the Center for Bulacan Studies and Mr. Isagani Goran of the Samahang Pankasaysayan ng Bulacan, Sampaca, shows that Bulacan was identified as a visita of Tondo in 1578. With regards to exact date of foundation of Bulacan as a province, Veneracion correlated it with the practice of Spaniard of dedicating the founding of Pueblo to the feast of a patron saint. In the case of Bulacan it is the Nuestra Señora de la Asunción, which is also the patron saint of Bulacan town, the first capital of the province. Officially, the province of Bulacan was created under Act 2711 on March 10, 1917. Geography Bulacan covers a total area of 2,796.10 square kilometers, 1,079.58 square miles, occupying the southeastern section of the central Luzon region. The province is bounded by Nueva Ecija on the north, Aurora, Dingalan on the northeast, Quezon, General Nacar on the east, Rizal, Rodriguez on the southeast, Metro Manila, Valenzuela City, Malabon City, Navotas City, Caloocan City and Quezon City on the south, Manila Bay on the southwest, and Pampanga on the west. Several rivers irrigate the province of Bulacan, the largest one is that of Angat. Angat River passes through the towns of Norzagaray, Angat, Bustos, San Rafael, Baliwag, Plaridel, Pulilan, and Calumpit. It flows thence into the Pampanga River, goes out again, washes Haganoy and loses itself in the mangroves. The banks of these rivers are very fertile and are covered with trees. Terrain Bulacan lies in the southern portion of the fertile plains of central Luzon. The area is drained by the Angat and Pampanga rivers. The Sierra Madre mountain range forms the highlands of Bulacan in the east and is a protected area known as the Angat Watershed Forest Reserve. Angat Lake, which was formed by the Angat Dam is located in that area. The highest point in the province at 1,206 meters is Mount Oroid, part of the Sierra Madre. On January 19, 2008, an 18-hectare 44-acre dump site, a new landfill that would also be a tourist attraction opened in Norzagaray, Bulacan Province. Ramon Angelo Jr., President Waste Custodian Management Corp., stated, I want them to see our system in our place which should not be abhorred because we are using the new state-of-the-art technology. Climate November to April is generally dry while wet for the rest of the year. The northeast monsoon Amahan, prevails from October to January bringing in moderated and light rains. From February to April, the east trade winds predominate but the Sierra Madre Philippines mountain range to the east disrupts the winds resulting to a dry period. From May to September, the southwest monsoon Habagat. The hottest month is May having an average temperature of 29.7 degrees Celsius 85.5 degrees Fahrenheit while the coldest is February with an average temperature of 25.1 degrees Celsius 77.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Administrative divisions Bulacan is subdivided into 21 municipalities and 3 cities. As the population is concentrated in the southern half of the province, so are the legislative districts. Demographics The population of Bulacan in the 2015 census was 3,292,071 people, making it the second most populous province in the country. 
It had a density of 1,200 inhabitants per square kilometer or 3,100 inhabitants per square mile, the country's fourth highest for a province. On 1 May 2010, the province had 2,924,433 inhabitants with an annual population growth rate of 2.73 from the year 2000 to 2010. There were 588,693 households in the province with an average size of 4.8 persons. Bulacan had a median age of 23 years in 2007. Languages and ethnicity as it is part of the Tagalog cultural sphere Katagalugan, Tagalog is the predominant language of Bulacan. Some inhabitants also speak Kapampangan, especially in areas close to the border of Pampanga. Three municipalities, San Miguel, Remedios Trinidad, and Norzagaray, and one city, San Jose del Monte, are the homelands of the Alta Kabalawan, the first inhabitants of Bulacan whose language is also called Alta Kabalawan. Their language is currently endangered due to an influx of Tagalog speakers. Religion Roman Catholic is the predominant religion with 88% adherents in the province. Other Christian groups include the Aglipayans, Born Again Christians, Church of God, Ang Dating Don, Baptists, Jehovah's Witnesses, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Inc., Methodists, Presbyterians, Mormons, Seventh-day Adventists and other small charismatic Christian groups. Muslims and other small number of non-Christian groups are also present. Economy Industries The province of Bulacan is steadily becoming industrialized due to its proximity to Metro Manila. Many corporations put up industrial plants and site in Bulacan. Some of the businesses and industries include agribusiness, aquaculture, banking, cement bag making, ceramics, construction, courier, education, food, food processing, furniture, garments, gifts, houseware and decors, hospitals, hotels, resorts and restaurants, information and communications technology, insurance, jewelry, leather and leather tanning, manpower, manufacturing, marble, printing press, pyrotechnics and fireworks manufacturing, realty, real property development, shoe manufacturing, manufacturing, textile, trade, transport services, travel and tours. Agribusiness and aquaculture The rural areas still mostly depend on agriculture and aquaculture as a source of income. Some of the major crops are rice, corn, vegetables, and fruits such as mangoes. An orchid farm is operating at Golden Bloom Orchids at Brigi. Maguinao in San Rafael, Bulacan. The fisheries of Bulacan, aside from fish ponds and rivers, include Bustos Dam and waterlogged areas. Major species cultured include bangus, tilapia, prawn, and catfish. This made Bulacan a leading province in bangus milkfish production based on reports of the Bureau of Agricultural Statistics BA. Banking and finance Bulacan is served by all major banks with more than 200 banks doing business in the province. The entrepreneurial culture is supported by the strong cooperative movement with total assets of over PHP 2 billion. Industrial estate and parks This is a partial list of industrial sites in the province. Income Bulacan received the top place for LGUs with highest gross income, PHP 1,717,600,000.00, and top spender by LGUs, PHP 1,349,420,000.00, and third third among the top provinces with generated biggest net income, PHP 368,000,000. 180,000.00, according to the 2006 Annual Financial Report, Local Governments of the Commission of Audit. The first time to top the perennial top placer, which was the province of Cebu, the province received the top place for LGUs with highest gross income, PHP 1,807,600,000.00, second, second, in top spender by LGUs, PHP 1,372,160,000.00, and third, third, among the top provinces with generated biggest net income, PHP 434,800,000. 830,000.00, according to the 2007 Annual Financial Report, Local Governments of the Commission of Audit, based on the Commission of Audit's 2008 Annual Financial Report for Local Governments, the province's total gross income had increased to PHP 1,965,633,000.00, including the subsidies and extra items. 
Its expenses had also increased to PHP 1,641,325,000.00, which brings a total net income of PHP 324,308,000.00. This is the list of the top income earners in Bulacan from 2014 and 2017. Local Products Tadic Bulacanio Program was launched in 2004, conceptualized to stimulate economic activity in the province and sustain the anti poverty thrust of the government government through the promotion of entrepreneurship. The program's beneficiaries are potential micro, small and medium-sized enterprises in the province. Tadic Bulacanio products comprises sabudan bags, buntal hats, beverages, and even jams such as tomato jam. Transportation Bulacan is dubbed as the gateway to the northern Philippines. The province is linked with Metro Manila primarily through the North Luzon Expressway and Manila North Road, better known as the MacArthur Highway, which crosses the province into Pampanga and western part of northern Luzon, western central Luzon, Ilocos and Cordillera administrative region. While taking the Cagayan Valley Road in Giginto, the road leads to Nueva Ecija and to the eastern part of northern Luzon, eastern central Luzon and Cagayan Valley region. Bulacan will be accessed by the future C6 road connecting the provinces of Rizal and Cavite and the cities of Taguig, Parañaque and Muntinlupa in Metro Manila. The proposed North Luzon East Expressway NLEE, is the future expressway link between Metro Manila and the provinces of Bulacan and Nueva Ecija. It will also serve as a new alternate route of motorists coming from Manila going to Aurora and Cagayan Valley region. The MacArthur Highway traverses the province from north to south. Most major towns can be reached through the North Luzon Expressway. A good number of motor vehicles owned largely by private individuals provide mobility to Bulacan's populace. Aside from five main highways that traverse the province, all roads are widely dispersed throughout Bulacan. Bus terminals of Baliwag Transit Inc., Golden Bee Transport and Logistics Corp., California Bus Line, Sampaguita Liner and Royal Eagle are in Baliwag, Balagtas and Haganoy. The main bus lines of Philippine Rabbit, Victory Liner, Aladdin Transit that originate from their main terminals in Manila, Pasay and Quezon City and travel northward to cities and towns in Pampanga, Tarlac and Zambales, pass through Bulacan via the Tabang exit. Other bus companies that travel to Bulacan include S Transport Corp., Earth Star Transportation, Baliwag Transit, First North Luzon, Five Star, Aguila Bus Transport, STA Monica Transport Corp. TSC, NSDC Buenasher Lines, Del Carmen, Shanine and Pauline Bus Co., Phil. Corinthian, Mersan, Miami, RJ Express. Bulacan is the home of its pride, the one of the biggest bus lines in Luzon, the Baliwag Transit Inc. which headquarters in Baliwag, Bulacan hence its name. Public transportation within the province, like in most of the urban areas in the Philippines, is facilitated mostly using inexpensive jeepneys and buses. Tricycles are used for short distances. Education The province is home to several nationally recognized public and private educational institutions such as Baliwag University, first school granted full autonomy in Region 3, the Bulacan State University, main and satellite campuses, the Bulacan Polytechnic College, Malolos, Bacaui, Ponte, Angat, San Miguel, San Rafael, Obando and City of San Jose del Monte Campus, Bulacan Agricultural State College, San Ildefonso and DRT Campus, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, STA. Maria Extension Campus and Pulilan Campus, La Consolación University Philippines and Centro Escolar University, Malolos Campus. On the other hand, National University, a non-sectarian Manila-based university, will soon establish its first campus outside Metro Manila in the municipality of Baliwag. Primary and Intermediate Bulacan has a total of 473 public elementary schools, 383 public schools under the Department of Education Dept. Division of Bulacan, 52 public schools under the Division of City Schools of San Jose del Monte and 38 public schools under the Division of City Schools of Malolos. Secondary Bulacan has a total of 68 public high schools, national and provincial. 43, 43, under the Department of Education, Dept, Division of Bulacan, 18, 18 public high schools under the Division of City Schools of San Jose del Monte, 3, 3, public high schools under the Division of City Schools of Malolos and Division of City Schools of Maycayan has 4 public high schools. Private schools 
There are many privately owned by individual or group and church operated schools established in the city. Private schools in the province are member of Bulacan Private Schools Association while in City of San Jose del Monte private schools are organized by City of San Jose del Monte Private Schools Association In Malolos, private schools are organized as Malolos City Private Schools Association in Maycayan, private schools are organized as Maycayan City Private Schools Association Government Current provincial government officials 2016 to 2019. Governor, Wilhelmino M. Cy Alvarado, Liberal Vice Governor, Daniel Fernando, Liberal Provincial Board Members Ex officio board members PCL President Joseph Andrew T. Mendoza ABC President Remilito B. Capistrano SK President Robert John Myron A. Nicholas Congressional District Representatives 1st District, Jose Antonio Cuya Jonathan R. Cy Alvarado, Liberal. 2nd District, Gavina. A. P. O. L. C. Poncho, NUP. 3rd District, Lorna Silverio, NUP. 4th District, Linabel Ruth R. Valerica, Liberal. Lone District of San Jose del Monte, Florida. Rida. P. Robes, Liberal. Official seal. Points of interest Festivals Kalampit Labad Festival, Kalampit, June 23 24, Santa Cruzan, City of Malolos, May 1 31, Luyang de la Festival, Marilao, May 2, Obando Fertility Dance, Obando, May 17 19, Feast of the Holy Cross of Wawa, Bacaui, first Sunday of July. Sto. Nino Festival, City of Malolos, last Sunday of January. Linga ng Bulacan, Baliwag, Black Saturday. Flagellants and Lenten Rites, Pombong, Good Friday. Baliwag Lenten Procession, Baliwag, Good Friday. Plaridel Horse Festival, Plaridel, December 29 to 30. Pulilan Carabao Festival, Pulilan, May 14 to 15. Religious. STA Monica Church in Angat. San Agustin Parish Church in Baliwag. Saint Martin of Tours Church in Bacaui. Maytu Shrine in Calumpit. St. John the Baptist Church in Calumpit Basilica Menor de Immaculada Concepcion in City of Malolos Divine Mercy National Shrine in Marilao San Pascual Bailon Church in Obando Simborio Chapel in Plaridel St. Ildefonso's Church in San Ildefonso San Miguel Catholic Church in San Miguel St. John of God Parish Church in San Rafael La Immaculada Concepcion Church Sta. Maria Church in Santa Maria Shrine of St. Andrew Kim in Bacaui Assumption of Our Lady Church in Bulacan Plaridel Catholic Church in Plaridel National Shrine of St. Anne in Haganoy San Isidro Labrador Church in Pulilan Barisayan Ecclesiastical Museum in City of Malolos Grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes in San Jose del Monte City Barisayan Church in City of Malolos Museo San Isidro de Pulilan in Pulilan Historical 
Enrique's Ancestral House in Bulacan Maytu Shrine in Calumpit St. John the Baptist Church in Calumpit Basilica Menor de Immaculada Concepcion in City of Malolos Kakarong de Sili Shrine in Pondi Battle of Quingua Monument in Plaridel Texan House in San Miguel Marcelo H. del Pilar Shrine in Bulacan Bulacan Museum in City of Malolos Old Train Station in Giginto Biak na Bato National Park in San Miguel Baliwag Museum in Baliwag Barisayan Ecclesiastical Museum in City of Malolos Pinagrelan Cave in Norzagaray Bagbag Bridge in Calumpit Mercado House in Bustos Casa Real Shrine in City of Malolos Barisayan Church in City of Malolos Heritages Baliwag Clock Tower in Baliwag San Agustin Parish Church in Baliwag Enrique's Ancestral House in Bulacan Maytu Shrine in Calumpit St. John the Baptist Church in Calumpit Basilica Menor de Immaculada Concepcion in City of Malolos Marilao Catholic Church in Marilao Battle of Quingua Monument in Plaridel Simborio Chapel in Plaridel Texan House in San Miguel La Immaculada Concepcion Church Sta. Maria Church in Santa Maria Marcelo H. Del Pilar Shrine in Bulacan Bulacan Museum in City of Malolos Old Train Station in Giginto Francisco Balagtas Museum – Marker Birth Place in Balagtas Shrine of St. Andrew Kim in Bacaui Plaridel Catholic Church in Plaridel Francisca Reyes Aquino Shrine in Bacaui Baliwag Museum in Baliwag Barisayan Ecclesiastical Museum in City of Malolos Bautista Mansion in City of Malolos Bagbag Bridge in Calumpit Mercado House in Bustos Casa Real Shrine in City of Malolos Barisayan Church in City of Malolos Museo San Isidro de Pulilan in Pulilan Gallery See also List of people from Bulacan List of radio stations in Bulacan Roman Catholic Diocese of Malolos Malolos Cathedral References External links Media related to Bulacan at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Bulacan at OpenStreetMap Bulacan PH Philippine Standard Geographic Code